How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. I've just come back from Prague where we've been checking out the latest concept car from Skoda, the Vision 7S. It's a glimpse into the, what the future holds for Skoda in terms of design, technology, and of course, electrification. Let's see what this car is all about. Skoda started by unveiling a new wordmark logo, a logo that looks more grown up and perhaps will look less outdated in the next few years to come. It's not too far off that it becomes unrecognizable and the new brand logo will no longer use that sculptural 3D graphics. In addition to this, Skoda Auto will also be using two different green hues. So we have the emerald green and the electric green, which Skoda says it represents ecology, sustainability and electromobility. I think it looks fantastic. Now, back to that Vision 7 Esto. The design is very minimalist and modern from every angle that you look at it. It's a seven seater that doesn't really look like a seven seater thanks to its short overhang. And as it's an electric car based on Volkswagen MEB platform, they are also able to play around with the space inside too. It has that suicide door and all that that will make into production, but it just gives you a glimpse into what could be. The front view is new with what Skoda calls the tech deck face. The front of the vehicle uses familiar design elements such as the signature Skoda line, you have that redesigned Skoda wordmark logo and a new ambient light strip that extends across the entire width of the vehicle at the upper edge of the front section. The tech deck face is basically the new grille which stylistically hides all the tech that's underneath it. It's significantly flatter and wider than the previous styling. The ribs have been replaced by dark glass that conceals the vehicle's sensors. You also notice that new T-Light cluster, front and rear. The narrow headlights are positioned further outwards and arranged in two rows, one above the other. The daytime running lights extend well into the wings and form the sharply defined upper line of that T. The rear LED lights are also arranged in a T. Again, the upper line extends laterally into the wings. This design accent is repeated on the camera exterior mirrors as well as the sensor door handles which are recessed into the body and arranged vertically. Of course this recessed door handle also helps with uh, things like co drag coefficient and just aerodynamics which helps with longer range in terms of the electric uh, capability. Of course sustainability is key here, the wheel arch linings and the bumper, uh, the bumpers at the front and rear are made of durable recycled tyres which also gives it a rugged look, I quite like it. Seven vertical air intakes are integrated into the front to direct the air to the cooling system and brakes and nine vertical air inlets in the rear bumper. You'll also notice the flashy orange highlights located in the center of both the front and rear as well as adding to its design, uh, they can be pulled out to serve as hooks and can be used to safely cut off the vehicle's high voltage current when out from the outside if required, so in case of an emergency for example. The Vision 7 X is sitting on 22 inch alloys, uh, which are aerodynamically optimized rims that are almost completely closed. Additional air outlets are positioned between the wheel arches and above the side skirts. This acts as running boards for the portal doors that swing up in opposite directions and also have cover grills. These grills channel the warm air generated from cooling the high voltage battery to the outside. You'll also notice the flat roof line that gently slopes to the rear and merges with a pronounced roof spoiler for high aerodynamic efficiency. The Vision 7S is not all about the exterior design though. There's a lot going on on the inside as well when it comes to space, the way things are placed and arranged. The interior is symmetrical, giving all passengers the same generous sense of space. The upper line of the instrument cluster continues into the door panels, completing the wraparound design and supporting the feeling of safety. The Vision 7S offers passengers two different interior configurations with a rotating central touchscreen and sliding elements to create the perfect ambience for driving and relaxing. While driving, all the controls are within easy reach for the driver and the central 14.6 inch touchscreen is orientated vertically for enhanced accessibility and information stacking in terms of user interface. When charging or stopping, the relax mode can be selected at the touch of a button in the center console. The steering wheel and instrument cluster slide backwards away from the driver and passengers to create additional space. In drive mode, the driver benefits from the advanced AR Adopt display and uh, this display the most important driver data like speed, you know, uh, speed sign and all that kind of stuff. You have that 8.8 inch digital instrument cluster display for extra information and the steering wheel has also been completely redesigned with two solid spokes at a 12 and six o'clock position. So you also notice the flat top and flat bottom also. This is because it allows you to actually have a better vision of the instrument cluster and easier to get into the car as well. Passengers in the second and third row can magnetically attach their devices to the seat back rests in front of them for optimal viewing. The child seat placement is interesting here for me though. Skoda says 
it's the safest position in the vehicle. It's integrated into the center console, which extends to the second row seats opposite to the direction of travel. This means the child is optimally protected and the passengers in the second row can always keep an eye on the child. An optional interior camera in the rear roof can also transmit a video of the child to the central infotainment system, so it makes it possible for the driver and front passenger to see the little one on board at all times. Up front, the air vents on the dashboard work in discrete diffuse mode until more direct ventilation is needed. At the touch of a button, they slide upwards to provide a direct stream of air. A large panoramic roof floods the interior of the Vision 7S with lights giving it a sense of extra space, which I really like. The entire interior is trimmed in a mix of sustainable, durable materials. The upper parts of the dashboard and doors are finished in dark artificial leather and bordered by indirect ambient lighting and emphasizes the protective wraparound design that we spoke about earlier. The lower parts, like the dashboard and the door armrest, are, are trimmed in a lighter artificial leather that echoes the exterior color, Explorer Green, and is accentuated by direct ambient lighting. There's so much to like about the Vision 7S. The design looks fantastic, even though the tail lights might look a bit like the new Range Rovers, which is ne not necessarily a bad thing. I quite like that. But this gives us a glimpse into what to expect into, in terms of the overarching design in the years to come from Skoda and the technology inside. Um, and you can just see where the thought process is, which is space, sustainability, e-mobility, and just general comfortability for the drivers and for the driver and the passenger in the vehicle. But over to you, don't let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this something that you like? Would you buy one of these if you went into production as it is, obviously with all the safety elements and stuff like that added? Uh, let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, if this is your first time around here, please do subscribe, smash the bell notification as well so you get notified every time there's a video up on the channel like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.